the, the shoe. Okay, there you go. There you go. Hey everyone, today I'm gonna unbox this uh, tripod. Uh, I got it for uh, $99. It retails for $299 to replace my uh, old uh, Platinum Plus by Sunpack tripod. It's all aluminum and it's really heavy. This thing's supposed to be lighter. According to the shipping rate, it's only two pounds, but doesn't feel like two pounds. It feels like more than two pounds. So this is a lot heavy, but if, even with a box, this is much heavier. So let's unbox this. So all right, here it is. It's a Motofro, and uh, I hope it's the one I ordered. I gotta check the receipt. It's a uh, Exco Max. BK and here's the QPC code. I'll put it in the description below too. And uh, this thing goes up to all right. So uh, the specs weight pounds is uh, 3.54 pounds. So three and a half pounds. And according and when they ship it, the shipping box is only two pounds. So somebody got cheated. Eh? And uh, the, when it's folded, it's only 18 inch and 18.70 inch. When uh, it, when it's uh, adjusted, the max height is 67.63, and the leg is 18.38 inch when it's op wide open. There's four sections, and the max DD is 28 8 millimeter, or 1.1 in 10 inches. Right, so this is the tripod kit. It, it has a uh, monopod built in on it. I might have to change the head. The, this comes. This is a ball, ball, ball head. So let's, I opening it up now, and here is the comes with a nice case. I'm planning to take this on a trip. That's why I bought it comes with a nice uh, strap for it, I guess. Yeah, it's a strap. I can figure out what is it for. First time I've seen something like this. I think that's a strap. comes with a... Oops, almost dropped it. A wrench. An Allen wrench and a hook. And here's the tripod. Put that there for now. And the leg, rubber legs. And silica gel. Put it in the garbage. You don't want your dog to eat this if you have pets. And here's the actual tripod. I'll compare with my old one. The old one is a monopod too. Looks nice. Oh, it locks cool. Oh, okay. You have to, to fold it. You just click. Oh, you can, so you can actually. Uh, oh, you have to go down. Okay. So it, it can lock. It can lock here. Happy there. Oh, you have to go down. You can lock there. I see another lock here. One. I think you can lock here too. And there. Yeah, you can lock it flat. And in order for you to lower it, you have to lower it in order to release. You can lock it there too. Then you can lock it here like that. So normally I will probably lock it in the middle of it. So you gotta pull it, put it down. See three sets. See one. Per this is the one. Two. 
three. Alright. So the max height, this is the leg. Okay, so you lower this one, you lower this one, twist to lock, and this is the aluminum, it's made out of, I forgot the name of it, and there's a rubber over here to hold, nice grip, I don't know why it's missing this one. Bring this tomorrow to take a picture. Well, this is really uh, so. This are uh, it comes with extra rubber legs. So this is really tall when it's fully open. One more. This pouch is to put your uh, ball joint uh, if you want to switch to a monopod and your tools. And the way you know where the monopod is, is this leg over here. There's a foam side and there's this rubber side. It's just the rubber side and you can remove that. First, uh, before we can do that, we want to remove the, the mounting over here, the joint. So make sure this is not because it, Make sure this is a lock here. Otherwise, when you take this out, the whole thing will fall down. So, all right. So we're gonna remove the bolt joint here. So you just twist the whole thing out. This thing can come out by itself too, but okay. You see that out? The whole thing comes out. These two separate, so make sure you don't drop it. You don't want to lose it. And if I didn't lock this part here, it would fall out all the way. See, so make sure you lock that, that way you don't lose anything. And make sure you lock this one so that you won't lose anything. So this one here, you, the one with the foam and rubber, rubber side is the one that comes up, like I said before. So you just screw this one in and you have a monopod. That was quick. Then you have a monopod. All right. Now since we're not gonna use the monopod, put it back. By the way, I found uh, the sh the shoe. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. So I found the shoe. It was in the the, the bag. But let me put everything back in. A lot of comedy of errors here. I'm not gonna cut that part. And uh, get this part here. Goes in there and tighten that up nicely. There you go. And this one you can go this way. I'm gonna bring this tomorrow in the field. I'm going to test it. I'm going to video myself with it with a big heavy lens. Hopefully it will hold it up. And, whoop. and so far it's good. I won't, I won't give my uh, complete review until I'm done testing it tomorrow or maybe more. And I'm pretty sure you can replace this with a gimbal type of a head instead of the bolt joint. And it's pretty easy to close back. pretty easy you just turn and lock you can lock it all in one hand at the same time okay. and you can open it one twist it's fast lock but when you extend it then you can do it twist the lock
to installer, just to open okay, and to lock it. I mean to put it back where it was. You just then push one leg. Two leg. Three leg. Now I'm pretty sure this is the wrong spot here, so I'm gonna twist that. The way it locks some more. There you go. And this one, which I lock too far. I'm gonna lower the loosen that a little bit. The way it goes in there. Now it's completely close. Now you can carry this. This is only 18 inch, so it should fit in your backpack. Look. So you can twist the screw. You can put this hook over here. So when this thing is wide open, you know, this thing all the way down, the legs are down, standing up. You could put a something here, like a backpack or whatever you want to hang here. And you should hold it up. It's very sturdy. It looks very sturdy. All right, so I'm not going to use this hook anyway, so I'm not going to install it. So I'm going to put this back, retract this back. Pretty cool. But right, time to test tomorrow. There it is. So after a week of using this, I'm getting used to the ball joint and uh, making sure the I when I tighten this, it's tight, it's locked, and uh, a lot of range on this thing. So you can go and if you want to lose it, I, I don't know if I can do it with one hand. I'm gonna try anyway. Maybe when I loosen this knob over here, then I can go up and down side to side and get a steady shot so it's pretty good decent tripod very light I'm not it's that heavy you know like the other one I was so heavy that I didn't even know it was that heavy until I started hold, carrying this one I'm like damn this is light so it's pretty good not bad for a $99 tripod So, all right this is it this is uh the moto pro uh, I, the, uh, <laughs> I don't remember the anyways in the description i don't remember the model i'll put it in the description below oh, it's on the title actually all right so this, this is the moto pro tripod with a monopod and uh, it's a decent tripod very light easy to carry and gives me uh gives me uh here it keeps me going because I don't get tired as fast because I don't have to carry something that heavy like a tripod. Right, that's it. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.